We are going to set up a development environment for Arduino Pilot on Mac OS X. We are using Mac OS I Sierra, latest updated version as of March 2018. So to start with, we must provide the environment with some needed utilities that are not included on a standard default installation. So let's start our terminal session. For that, I go to Finder, write Terminal, and it finds Terminal, and I start it from here. The other way of starting Terminal is to go to Applications, scroll down to Utilities, and you'll have terminal also here. So a few of the utilities that we'll need are not installed, like I said before. One of them is Git. If you type Git, you'll see that uh, Mac immediately says that you don't have the command line tools installed and offers you to install them. You can select to do that and install. We agree with the license agreement and the system now goes to the internet, downloads appropriate utilities. Then when it stops, I'll show you how to do this through a command line, which is in the end results on the same effect. The software is installed. The alternate command line that I could have done to install the command line tools is Xcode select option install. With this command line, the effect would be exactly the same. Now I'm going to enlarge a little this command line terminal window and I'm going to get a document that I prepared previously with the install steps. Now we need to install a package manager that would uh, enable us to uh, uh, install appropriate utilities on macOS it's similar to the apt-get um, option on Linux, but here we are going to use an open source solution called Brew. So I'll copy this command line and install it here. He's going to ask me for my administrator password. As usual, we have to provide it because in the middle is running some sudo commands. Now that the brew is package manager is installed, we'll go and tell him that he also has to use a specifically repository for uh, pulling up the utilities required for Arduino Pilot. For that, you just brew tap Arduino Pilot on brew PX4. Now that is done, we'll ask him to update the list of utilities available. Brew update. And now we'll have to install the prerequisites. I'll just go and copy and paste each one at a time, although I could install it all at once. One. Now the compiler, GCC, the GOP utility. Now the GOC utility. Now we'll also 
ask the system to install CMake. It installs. I'm just copying. Now that we've installed all the required uh, packages from uh, Brew, we are going to install a few packages for Python. I'll be using the default installation that comes on macOS of Python, Python 2.71. So we have it here. So let's start installing a few utilities that will be required during this process. Pip. And now a few others. After this installation, we finished installing the basic prerequisites to start using Arduino Pilot. So let's clone the Arduino Pilot repository to our computer. I'll be working from within my home directory. I can now go and git clone the Arduino Pilot repository. This will take a little time. Okay, now we have the entire repository of Arduino Pilot in our system. Let's do the list of our directory. You can see here that now we have the Arduino Pilot directory. Let's change to it. And now we need to update the submodules. Autopilot requires a few submodules to operate correctly. Let's give this command line and this cloning the required submodules to our system. Now that we have the entire submodules copied to our system, let's try to compile for the first time Arduino Pilot on your computer. Arduino Pilot moved to the WAF compiling system some time ago, and we have to configure the system where we say which port we have. Let's say that we have a PIX racer, which is a PX4 V4, and the system goes and co prepares to compile everything for the PIX racer. And now we can say that we want to compile WAF specified target, the directory that we want. We want the copter, and this is enough. We could have an additional upload line that would uh, upload directly to the board after compilation the resulting binary. Let's do it. Very well, we've managed to compile our first version of Arduino Pilot. On the following video we will compile for SITL, this uh, software in the loop application, and we'll also install MathProxy, which is a command line uh, GCS, and is very useful when you're developing for Arduino Pilot. Thank you.